a novel called Muffin. It is a view of lobbyist politics from the very bottom of the food chain. My internship on New York City's mayoral race moved like a bullet train. After just two weeks, campaign manager Courtney Michelle invited me to lunch, and I had served excellent scheduler by arranging an elusive restaurant week table at my favorite Bobby Flay eatery, Mesa Grill. In one of my only three professional office lady dresses, I regaled Courtney with gossip espionage from the executive assistant water cooler. They said all the checks and cash were in shoe boxes. That makes the whole fundraising team sound like parking lot drug dealers or grifters. <laughs> Courtney snorted into his Pinot Grigio. Can't say I'm surprised, but I can't say anything at all. I pressed, but dig deep and think about the messiest bitch you know. It's a man, ain't it? <laughs> Courtney belly laughed. I knew my insight and my joke had landed. That's how you brick by brick camaraderie on a campaign. While I forked Barada, Courtney's nut brown hand came up like a shadow. As if cast by a bird in flight, its hand-shaped darkness slapped my cheek hard. A corner of his brightling watch left a dime-sized purple bruise under my left eye. I froze bolt upright shocked and in awe on my cushioned throne at a great table I would not be paying for. Not cash, anyway. We perched in an elevated section by a window on Park Avenue. I swallowed and dug my right acrylics into my left hand. My gaze fixed on Gramercy Park pedestrians on the wind-whipped February sidewalk. I focused on my $30 two-faced better than sex mascara, so as not to ruin my meticulous beat with even a single tear. What the actual fuck? But never forget the lessons of TikTok. A cis hetero male can be very charming, as charming, seductive, and kind as he is toxic, insecure, and violent. That's why we ladies have to keep him outside as long as possible until we have a better read on their potential for violence. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But why did this Harvard grad, a colleague, slap me in the middle of the finest Tex-Mex gourmet meal Manhattan could offer? You imagine he was provoked. That's cute and naive and wrong. Frank Herbert noted in his seminal work, Dune, beginnings are such delicate times the slap of my face in public on a first date was a test. First of his manhood. Was he privileged enough to cross that line and get away with it? Was I too shocked and in awe to react with tears, a raised voice accusation, and a publicly pointed finger? Had the wait staff or the other diners noticed? Would they do or say anything? At the end of the day, was Courtney most exhilarated by the getting away with it all? I will admit I was social climbing, looking to ramp up my opportunity on the campaign. Those student loans weren't going to pay themselves. I was looking for an ally at work and possibly something more. My ears were ringing from the blow, blood pressure pounding and cheeks hot from both anger and embarrassment. If he wanted my full attention drawn away from the sparkling anecdote I had been telling about office politics, he got it. I will admit, as the less powerful diner, I blinked. I demurred. He offered that he had been joking, and come on, I know it didn't even hurt. I was slapped in public and now taunted. My blood ran cold. A veteran of the micro and macro aggression dance on campus, I silently calculated, complain and sever, and lose my access to the campaign manager's inner circle, or store his peccadillo away into my personal oppression circular file. Say no harm done and mean it? Maybe just say no harm done. For now, be the good girl and fawn. 
give myself up to benefit other people. Stay the nice, good, kind, loving, compassionate intern and get bitch slapped by capitalism. Clearly he was testing me to see how much I could take from the campaign chief of staff, to see how low my self-esteem was, to see if I was feeling froggy and litigious amid, amid dysfunctional culture, or if he could boil the water to overflow. I wanted to scratch his face, throw a drink. I wanted to flee. Better not. I made a commitment to the work of the campaign. My cost was sunken. My, my parasympathetic nervous system was jumping like a disco. I felt angry and ashamed, like the slap was my fault. This is the part of adulting they don't teach you in college. But I tasted my own blood, sweat, and tears in the dark solitude of my mouth. Contort my personality to swim this dangerous water? Could I really commit to leverage my pain and really play this game? Thank you. Mm -hmm.